That was pretty good. It's Eric Johnson from Airtate Throws Nation. In today's video, we're gonna talk about setting up your throwing chain reaction. Now, one of the things we're gonna talk about in pillar one, one of the core things and one of the core objectives you're trying to do is actually establish the orbit pattern of the discus. So where you move that discus is super key. So what we're gonna do is encourage our coaches and throwers that this is a super important thing and it's something we talk about in depth inside throwing chain reaction system. So click the link below. Okay, so one of the things we're gonna do is we're gonna be watching the path of the discus. We typically are gonna to wanna to have that higher point and we're gonna to wanna to set that path so it's going to be here. You're trying to avoid the back and forth. This type of motion leads to technically this orbit and this orbit is going to lead to the incorrect pillar two which is going to create people falling into the ring. So it's a super important thing. There's four main objectives that we talk about in our pillar one in the start and again you can get that information by clicking the link below but one of the core things you want to do to help clean up your throw learning how to actually move the discus right you're going to be really concentrating on that path and that's going to also be affected by how you hold the discus and we've we've created other videos and again inside our system we go through all of these things in depth and we create our different drills and process for doing so one simple tip for you today to keep it simple is start trying to wind with the discus so that you're taking the discus up to a high point that it's about the shoulder. This is gonna help dictate the orbit throughout the throw. If we're doing things like we've talked about in other videos like the figure eight wind, you're gonna wind up setting an orbit and technically you can see when you're doing this, this is the actual orbit. But what you're gonna do, you'll tilt your shoulders but you'll adjust with your arms so it won't be as obvious but that is actually what's happening. So one of the simple things that we wanted to help a lot of our young throwers with today and coaches as you look is to be able to make sure that your athlete is carrying that discus properly and placing it in the right orbit so that you can set up your throw again set up your th your chain reaction for better more balanced throws so hopefully that was helpful be sure to comment if you'd like information on throwing chain reaction system click the link below and we'll see you on the next video so that's why when you turn the thumb up the discus isn't coming off the edge of that finger real well and that's going to make a big difference so how you hold it is super important